Hello guys, Jig Wilson back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video we will resume where we left for the last time in making the plane. So let's get started. So this is the wireframe that we have from the last video and I'm just going to show the the frames that I hided right here. Perfect. And now the main step is to make the surfaces itself. So the very first way I would rather choose to make is <coughs> and that is the multi-section that I'm going to teach you in this video. How to make multi-section surfaces using the generative shape design. So first of all for so I'll just show you the feature right here. It's uh, multi-section right here, multi-section surfaces, and this is generative shape design, as we can see. So when you click on it, so let's see what exactly it's looking for. It's asking for a section, and for the guiding, we need a guide curve as well. So in this case, in order to make the fuselage, we need a section which is going to be the front view itself we are just going to trace the first the front view on any particular plane and just make different sections till where we want to make the multi section through so we don't need the top view i'm just going to hide it for now and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to simply offset a plane right here and offset it anywhere that I would like to. Let's see here. I click OK. So now I need a starting point and an end point where I want the section to be propagated to. So for that I will be using intersection. So then I'm going to use the intersection of this plane with respect to these two wireframes so that I get the point. I will just show you what exactly I mean. It's right here. So intersection we have right here intersection click on intersection it's asking for first element so you see this back kind of a thing you click on it it's helpful for multi selections if I am not choosing this bag I can only select one item at a time and it won't allow me to select a second one within the same column so what I'm going to do is if I want to add more elements I have to click on this bag and select this and close so now you can see I have two elements as first element the second element I want this plane and click preview so it's going to show me two points which represent the intersection of these two lines with respect to this plane I'm going to click OK so now we know that what exactly our section is going to start from and where exactly it's going to end. So I'm going to make the projection sketch which is right here, the position sketch. For this I'm going to use the positioning. They are asking for a reference. I'm going to use a plane. And instead of implicit I'm going to use projection point. And I'm going to use any one of these. I generally use the top one because it makes my initial point and I'm going to click OK. So now you can see that I have almost perfectly aligned alignment of the front view with respect to the initial point where I'm supposed to use to make the fuselage. So I'm going to use spline. You can also use 3D curves but spline is easier because it's more or less you just need to make a semicircle kind of a shape and before that I would recommend my bad before you make this I just want you to project this point because that point is not going to be shown unless or until you project it so you click on project click on that point and you click OK but make sure you make it to construction element so that's why I do it. Let me do it once again for you guys. So what I do is I project 
any plane that I have then I make sure what I say I'm going to go part 3d click on this point click OK make sure I make it construction otherwise it will show error when you're going to do the multi-section considering that the point it's a, another sketch so it will show some errors when you're going to do it that way so right here you have to switch this back to non-construction and now I'm going to make it as a spline right here and this will be my endpoint now you can adjust this according to the shape or the profile there you go looks good exit out perfect so we have the first sketch or the first section ready so now you we do need the sections throughout I mean you can still use this particular section throughout the guiding curves that you want but it's not going to be very accurate what I mean by that is we, we can still try how to do this but for that I'm just going to extract the lines right here we have extract options underneath this click on extract click on the bag itself click on the lines right here and click OK I've extracted those two lines that I selected so now I just want my section to be starting from here and later onwards so for that I need to trim the extracted line that I made it's not going to be visible by you guys but you will figure out what I mean I, I will split this line till this point so you see this is the line that I want I'm going to click OK nothing is going to be affected because we are currently making changes on the extracted lines and this is the line that we want you have the option for other side as well but this is the line that we actually want so now I have two lines that I can use in order to make the multi-section work well this is not, not the best precise surface that we are going to get but I'm just going to show you how it's going to look like this is the section we have the guide curves one and the second one is right here and I click preview it's, it simply give us an error because of the fact that it first of all these both are in, intersecting with each other so that's the main problem because which is not going to work yet so for that what we can do is we can also take into consideration the top view of it if we want to so making sure that we make some particular adjustments for this particular phase so I'm going to make one another view and make sure that it works perfectly and it propagates throughout in a good manner because you see we are trying to expect this section to be propagated throughout these guiding surfaces but you can see that here it's intersecting so basically there is no continuation of the section so it's not possible to have that feature applicable yet so what I'm going to do I'm just going to offset a plane offset it to a certain distance that I know is good enough that I want another sketch to be made let's say around here with where I can see this line I click OK so I'm going to do the same thing that I did I'm going to intersect I'm going to click on intersect intersect the two lines I'm going to do it quick now these two lines close the second element is the plane itself I click on preview I got two points click OK I'm going to click on the projection I have the plane projection point 
come to this point as well once again and now I'm going to do the same thing once again the section is going to be slightly different than the previous one and don't forget again I was in a bit hurry so yeah project always this point and don't forget to make it a construction element and you can click OK perfect so now what I'm going to do is just make a guiding curve uh, sorry a spline and make it make a good section of it there we go perfect exit out of the sketch so now we got two sections and two guiding curves similarly we can make like third and fourth sections we can make as many sections that we want this is just an example that I'm showing you how we can actually make a fuselage out of multi sections so now I'm going to do the same thing one once more offset one more plane this time I'm just going to go for the final section which is going to be around here Till, till the place I want my plane to last somewhere here I would say and I'm going to make a very small section of it now it's, it's a very very small section right here you can see that and before that I'm going to intersect just the way I did before intersect the back both the lines close and the plane itself preview two points okay then I'm going to do the projection point the plane projection point this is the point okay again don't forget to project this point and make it construction as well click okay escape and click this right here normal to all we need to do is just make sure that we join these two lines somehow in a way that it looks good there we go there we go and once again this is not the perfect example of making a fuselage I'm going to show you other ways as well but this is acceptable way of making a fuselage if you ever want to so now what we are going to do is the same extract thing that we tried before but it didn't work now we are going to extract lines we already have this line if we want we can just split the previous half and make it work as well so we don't need to split or uh, sorry we don't need to extract but we will just simply split click on split I am going to split this line till this point right here click ok and I'm going to do the same thing once again till this point as well and click OK so now I have the line you can see right here from this section to this section and similarly I have another line starting from the first section to the last section so this is exactly what I need for the guiding curve so now I can make use of the multi-section surface click here I choose the sections so now there's one key thing to note while using the multi section and that is the direction of the arrows if your direction of the arrows is opposite or is reverse in comparison to other two sections or any number of sections then it's not going to work and it's going to show us an error I'm going to show you first how it's going to look once it's done the guiding curves are these two the one that we extracted before and trimmed and I click preview see it's going to make a surface and it looks beautiful so now let's say that I'm going to change the direction of this arrow right here and preview it still worked for some reason but generally it doesn't okay if I'm going to change both the directions alright looks good not a difference this time let's try this one looking good kind of weird normally it shows an error I think the sections are pretty 
Oh, I see. The main reason is the section is aligned in one straight line. It's not aligned in different patterns. So let's say if I were to make multi-section in different angles, then it would have shown an error to us if the arrows are not aligned properly. So I'm just going to preview it. But yeah, that it is a good habit to have arrows on exactly on same side to better finish. So there we have our multi-section fuselage. For the same thing, if you want to work till the top, you can do it. But I have another technique or another feature I would say that I would like to show you guys how to do it in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.